Is it really Sunday already? Apparently so. This is Radio Redux. And this is Collapse Expressway from Final Fantasy Remake. Suto Suzuki's reworked version of Collapsed Expressway from the remake of Final Fantasy VII. Now, welcome, everybody, to another edition of Radio Redux. I am Kevin. I hope you are doing well. And it's been a busy week in video games. A get, a, a, well, I say a week where there's been a lot of money changing hands. And I'm not talking about the poor people still trying to pre order new Xboxes and new PS5s. What I'm talking about, of course, is what has happened with Microsoft. Not content with just trying to buy TikTok, which they obviously failed with, they've uh, gone and bought ZeniMax Media, which owns lots, lots, but specifically Bethesda, which now means that Microsoft owns an awful, awful lot of other stuff. Could we actually get Master Chief versus Doom Guy? I mean, no, they're not gonna do that. But it's that the the, the Zenimax thing uh, brings with it a lot of baggage, which I'm kind of interested in. Um, Zenimax, as you probably don't know, um, they're not exactly friendly with Oculus. The virtual reality people. They're not exactly friendly with them. Uh, there's a whole load of litigation going on there between Facebook and them. So uh, Microsoft has kindly picked that up. So now technically Microsoft is at loggerheads with Facebook via proxy. There's also a number of uh, other interesting licensing things that Microsoft will now have to deal with. Uh, and Zenimax isn't just games, of course. It's, it's Zenimax Media. It's not Zenimax Games. It's Zenimax Media. So it'll be interesting to see how those play into the ongoing idea uh, of what Microsoft is 
going to do. And I kind of, I'm wondering why they haven't done this before. We know that um, for a while now, they've been just slowly sort of going, oh, we, you know, we'll just buy a studio. Why not? We'll just buy a studio. Um, and, and they've discovered this has worked. So they're going to throw, what was it, $7.5 billion at Zenimax Media, which is a huge amount of money. But Zenimax Media is a huge company. So it's not something that you know they could do every day of the week, which is why the various reports that um, they're going to buy Sega is uh, lots, of, lots of rumors on the rumor mill. Going around that the next one, the next one they're gonna target is Sega. And you know, to be fair, that'd be a good decision for them. One small problem, much as hey, they couldn't just buy Bethesda because Bethesda was owned by Zenimax Media, you can't just buy Sega because Sega is a part of Sega Sammy. You'd have to buy the entirety of Sega Sammy. Sammy isn't gonna suddenly just go, oh actually, yeah, we'll just we'll just half our companies is going to go off and do something. You'd have to go and buy Sega Sammy, which from a Japanese point of view would be very interesting. Microsoft suddenly having, you know, a, a really strong interest in Pachinko. <laughs> All of a sudden, Microsoft is like, oh. Could you imagine... Could you imagine, you, you go into a pachinko parlor, there's just all the various flashing lights and the deafening sound of metal balls clanging against each other. Then all of a sudden you sit down and a small paperclip pops up on your screen and says, I see you want to play pachinko. Do you want some advice on how to play? And of course the correct answer is yes, because God alone knows you won't know how to play that particular machine. Because there's some stupid mechanic involved. What's going on on the screen? I don't know. Well, you should learn Japanese. Or alternatively, you should get a small helpful paperclip. It's it's the way of the future. It's coming. No, they're not gonna. They're not gonna buy Sega. I don't. I don't think they're gonna buy Sega. Um, one that would be actually a good. I mean, the, the, everyone's sort of sounding out which company would be next. Um, I, I'd like to nominate Konami. Now, admittedly, this would also mean they would get into Pachinko and we'd get the, the lovely lovely thing of Japanese <laughs> Japanese Clippy helping us. But um, what would be good, I think, because I, I think a lot of people have lost a lot of faith in Konami. Obviously, there is still that sort of stench on the company. Insert Konami news jingle here. Um, th there's that kind of thing about them, and there is a lot of you know, franchises that Microsoft would be interested in acquiring. It would be very interesting for Microsoft to have their own, you know, major football franchise. I mean, they're not going to go and buy EA, are they? Let's face it, they're not going to go and buy EA. Although that would <laughs> Boy, would that cause issues if they suddenly went and bought EA. But if you bought Konami, suddenly you own Pro Evo. And that would be interesting. Especially if EA are slightly more, you know, in bed with, with Sony and giving them a little bit of preferential treatment on things. Well, screw you! We've got Pro Evo, and we're, we're Microsoft, so we're going to go throw a ton of money at Pro Evo to make Pro Evo amazing. You can see the possibilities. Also, a certain person uh, is more inclined to work with Sony at the minute. A certain game developer, who shall remain nameless... Uh, if Microsoft owned Metal Gear as a franchise, you'd think that maybe something might happen there. Hmm, possibly, possibly. 
It is, of course, not the only thing that has been sort of acquired or arranged, I should say, by Microsoft over the last week. They've revealed that the uh, ultimate pass for Xbox, uh, which, by the way, is looking more and more amazing all the time, which is kind of their idea. They want you to get into this idea of just subscription gaming entirely. Because then they get more money on a regular basis. If you get tied into this subscription idea. But frankly, some of the add-ons are kind of making it worthwhile. Everything's everything's going to be going subscription now, as well you know. In the uh, Netflix era. Apologies, by the way, if I'm a bit sniffy. I've, I'm kind of getting a cold. It's that time of year. We're officially in autumn now. As, as you as you may have gathered by looking out of your window, this is in, your, in the northern hemisphere. If you're one of our southern hemisphere listeners, um, I'm hoping you're enjoying spring. But if you're one of the northern hemisphere ones, by God, have you just, have you looked out of the window recently? I tell you, there was a, a lovely thing um, earlier this week. It was like the beginning of the week, and went on Google. I'll get back to the Microsoft thing in a minute. We went on <laughs> to uh, went on to Google, and there was like today is the first day of autumn. Yesterday, it was blazing sunshine. Oh, today's the first day of autumn, it said on my phone. Oh, really? That's cool. I opened the door, bucketing it down. Absolutely blowing a gale. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I'm being whipped in the face by leaves, which is very impressive considering how far up I was um, in the air. It's like, okay. Um, wow. Mother Nature and Google really did a nice tie in there. It's like, okay, you're good. it's going to be cold in the evening and you're going to get soaked. And it's like from this specific day onwards, everything else was fine. And now it's not. Anyway, going back to Microsoft and, the, <laughs> and their um, the Funimation, if you get the uh, Game Pass, you'll also get like two months premium of Funimation. Which is interesting because Sony own Funimation. But that hasn't stopped them doing a deal. Eh, fair enough. Uh, uh, yeah. Get out of here with that shit, man. Yo. You don't know me and you don't know I'm going through So fuck you and your lame ass point of view That should have been my whole mission from the start You put it together, I tear it all apart What? Gotta get my stepping through this minefield And what's not mine becomes mine, you mind? That's the way I gotta take it from the mans Put a price up on the fans, I put let up in the stands It doesn't matter who the target is You know I'm gonna finish it once I get it started, kid That's the way I gotta market it Marksman, mercenary, making all your heart skip And I can turn you into parts quick Put you in a box and ship you off the yard six Where the novel leaders go uh, The ones that started pleading Cause they couldn't take the bleeding from the beating, yo So you might wanna shut your mouth Before you end up in a pine box headed down south Your mama brought you in, I'ma take you out Send you down to hell, you can burn like gout I'ma make it clear, I won't leave a doubt I told you I'm here, it's my only route So you can stick around cause it's gonna be a thriller In this world, ain't no other option for a killer I just gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough Body for a price, just say so Gotta get the cash Gotta get the dough, gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough, gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. If the means kill them all, then I won't say no. No, no, it's what I hear all the time when I'm slaying them. My heart, so nice for laying them. Slice, slice, dicing up some mayhem. Gotta keep it light in this dark world of gray and black. But you can get your axe to the back or a slap to the face from the clap of a gat. Strap to your waist, plastic to your hat. Back, back, back. Feel the tragic collapse I say it's pretty serious So maybe you should start thinking Hmm, well it's time to be fearing this Cause if I keep hearing this I'ma have no other choice But to leave your whole fam hearing this Yeah, that's how really real it is I care about my pockets Not about your feelings, shit So when I kill you, man It ain't personal It's just the only way I still can make a grand Understand what I'm talking about Get the picture Of what this all about It's time for you to walk it out You don't wanna be around When these dogs start barking out You don't wanna play the target route Cause I don't get paid Unless the fucking target's out That's the way it goes That's the only Wait, I know just to make my dough. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Body for a price, just say so. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. 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 Gotta get the c
You can keep your justice, man. I got my justice right here. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Body for a price, just say so. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. If it means kill them all, then I won't say no. Lunch money from River City Girls, and before that, the appropriate gonna get the cash from uh, Dujad Rays from Max Anarchy or Anarchy Reigns, depending upon where you are in the world. So, going back to the, the Zenimax story with Microsoft, um, just give me an idea of just what they've got out of this. Um, so, they, they've these are all the various like bits and pieces. So, um, Alpha Dog Games in in Canada, which was acquired just you know just a year under a year ago actually. Uh, Arcane Studios, so the French uh, game developer in Lyon, that was acquired a decade ago. Um, they created Dishonored, right? So so Dishonored. Check. Uh, there's also a, there's like a they've got one in Austin, Texas as well. Uh, Bethesda Softworks, of course, which con- which contains various bits and or pieces. Um, so uh, Elder Scrolls, they now own Fallout, they now own uh, the forthcoming Starfield, they own. What else do they own? They own uh, ID software, of course. So that means, well, uh, Commander Keen, they own. Wolfenstein, they own. Doom, they own. Quake, they own. Rage, they own. else have we got uh, machine games which uh, developed all the more modern Wolfensteins uh, Roundhouse Studios they own which was only founded like again founded under a year ago 
Tango Gameworks, and if you're not quite sure who, do, who Tango Gameworks are, they're the, they were the ones that were founded in 2010 by Shinji Mikami. And they developed the Evil Within 1 and 2. So now Evil Within they own. Uh, Zinax Online Studios, of course. So Elder Scrolls Online they own. It's, it's quite a lot of big, beefy franchises they own. Yeah, Fallout, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, Wolfenstein, Doom, Quake, Skin Rage is was a pretty good game. Very mismanaged. Um, Commander, they own Commander Keen. I find this find that really funny. <laughs> Microsoft owned Commander Keen. Uh, Commander Keen for Halo. Come on, make it happen. You know you do. <laughs> Let's have some more music. It's a very, very musicy kind of day. Uh, but we're going to have. Oh, actually, let's see. Go back to VR very, very briefly because, of course, Bethesda have VR experience. Uh, and Zinimax were looking into like doing their own stuff with VR. So who knows? That might end up going into Xbox Series X. Xbox Series X VR. Predicting it now. Right. This is going to be. Uh, a Christopher Drake composed track from Batman Arkham Origins is called Assassins. And after that, we've got uh, another game, which uh, you'll not have heard of before, probably. John Wick Hex and Austin Wintery's track South of 14. Those are the two tracks coming up, and I will see you after those. On iTunes, Spotify, and Radio Sega, you're listening to Radio Redux.
so good to hear your music again, Mr. Wick. John Wick Hex, South of 14th by Austin Wintry. A small update for you regarding uh, the ongoing stuff with LMC. Uh, it's good news. It's good news. I can officially confirm that uh, the new LMC, which will eventually take, which will eventually go live um, sometime in October. I'd hope to go live at the beginning of October. So, uh, but that's not going to happen now, um, mainly because. Uh, I've kind of got screwed over the work timetable, so yeah, um, it'll probably go middle of October because I actually have some holiday and time off there, so I'll be able to concentrate a little bit more on what is going on, but I can confirm that the pending folder for, uh, or on WordPress... Um, the pending is now zero, uh, which is to say that the TSS Z posts are not all done because I still have to do all the other authors, but the several thousand posts that uh, were done by Donny have now all been gone through. Uh, it new LMC is Donny compliant. All the stuff is there. All the images are saved. Um, it's not going to be like because this, this is the thing. Because it's like a lot of people say, "Well, can you just you know just rip the entire site and dunk it on there?" And it's like, "Well, no, I can't just do that." You know, it has to be a part of the site. I mean, you can just do that. I know a couple of places have. But what they've done is they, they link to the the images on TSSZ. And eventually TSSZ server is not going to be there anymore. Kind of, Trish is just kind of keeping it going for the time being. Um, which is great. And I actually, I actually should check in with him at some point. Uh, to find out what the heck's going on. But... Yeah, all the Donny posts are done. I can now start going through all the various authors one by one and getting all their posts up. And yeah, it's just just going from there. But yeah, so all those posts will be part of the new LMC. They're properly labelled and tagged and everything else. And it's done. there was so met the last lot was just entirely comics related and just having to find various versions of the comic pages but hey that's good we're, we're on our way uh, there's a list uh, here in my hand of the various things I have to get done before we can like soft launch there's going to be stuff still needs doing which is fair enough I think under the circumstances uh, pages and things but there's, yeah, there's bits and pieces that are, are on the way are on the way, let's put it this way. Um, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. And I... You know, I, I know nobody will care when it launches. And I know that there's other things I have to worry about. Like, um, I, if it's in October, it's fine. But I can't be, like, too far to the end of October. Because otherwise, it will just be swallowed up by Sonic Stadium yelling, 20 years! At the top of their voice. Um, for anybody to hear uh, and we'll go for oh, that oh actually that reminds me I was speaking of TSSZ and Sonic Stadium that reminds me um, I was going to say this on the previous show like last week we had the announcement the, the confirmation of the the, the the Sonic 30th logo which, which by the way like I think I said last week is an amazing logo Stadium put out this really this this tweet like we told you so, we told you there would be a thirtieth anniversary. It's just like, are you really taking credit? Are are you really taking credit for like yes, we told you there would be a thirtieth anniversary. We have been proved right. Get the fuck over yourself. What is wrong with you guys at the minute? 
The 30th anniversary wouldn't have not taken... Is, have you like become like the Daily Mail? Is this going to be it? Government minister answers our campaign to stop murdering children left, right and centre. We claim victory. Government minister agrees murdering children is a bad thing. Answers our complaints. Answers our call. We have stood up for you. We have made it happen. And now it will not happen. It... <laughs> It, I, the first thing I actually thought of when I saw that was how very TSSZ of you. Oh, the irony. God's sake. Anyway. Where was I? I can't even remember now. But... Uh, but the site will go live at some point next month now. Uh, we still have Turboween coming up, which of course is the annual uh, month-long focus on the YouTube channel where we just, like, here's, here's John, he's playing stuff, and there's a slight spookiness to it. Uh, and we tend to do that every year. There's a number of games that have been sort of pre-selected. I'm waiting to see what the heck's happening with another one. Uh, but as usual, there's going to be like the next in the next in the uh, Project Zero series, and oh boy, oh boy, was this, was this Project Zero Four? I think um, Maiden of the Dark Water, if I remember correctly. Oh boy, at the end of this one, does Turbo absolutely lose his rag? I mean, we've had some we've had some proper you know meltdowns with with uh turbos let's play for this was quite something so there's, there's that uh there's a couple of resis um we'll hopefully finish off the like the original remember re series that he did like, like way back like 2013 or whatever it was uh so that's coming up there's also a uh, oh that was it because i mentioned it earlier didn't i the uh, the evil within um half of literally half of turbo e month is dedicated to turbo's playthrough of, of uh, evil within so there's that uh and uh, a, a couple more little things in between which we'll sort of sprinkle in there like salt bay we will just sort of lmc we'll just like sprinkle turbo let's plays over its youtube channel in a cool and unwatched fashion this is <laughs> this is what we do uh, more music more music this is what's required now um uh, you know what one thing that i haven't really had a chance to listen to that much is new streets of rage um i've not played you know i, I looked at the new streets of rage and I, I fully recall the fan Streets of Rage 4 and how that died and how Sega, <laughs> how Sega murdered that. Uh, Sega, ours is our call. Not to murder Streets of Rage 4. Um, so, uh, you know, let's have something from that because I've no idea what it is. So, so I'm going to have a completely blind track from my point of view. Streets of Rage 4, uh, DJ Quashi by Motohiro Kawashima. That's coming up next. Afterwards, we've got something that I'm very familiar with, which is the music of Chime. Um, I believe a, a couple of friends of mine were talking about Chime on their Twitter timeline. And yeah, if you haven't played Chime, start playing Chime. Don't worry about anything. Just just, just play Chime. If you want to relax, if you want just, just, to, just to get rid of some time, Chime, I, I will... To the day I die, try and promote Chime. Okay, I know Zo I don't think Zoe Mode even exists anymore. I've never been in Brighton, but I think they've been reconstituted to something else nowadays. But that is what you need in your life. We all need more Chime in our lives, uh, and it's going to be the track "Spilled Cranberries" by Marcus Schultz. I'm pretty sure I've played before on Radio Wheels, but damn it, I don't care. So it's those two tracks coming up next, and we've got a couple of uh, a couple of bangers actually to end the show with. Um, but uh, we'll talk about some other stuff no doubt in between then but until then here it is you've got 
Streets of Rage 4 and then Chime in that order let's find out what this track's like For 15 years, bringing you the best in video game music, this is Radio Redux.
bizarre intro on that track with like the, the traffic of the ambulance and stuff fading into that music. Very bizarre indeed. Anyway, moving along. As we're into the last quarter of the show for this week. Moving along. And I'm sure you've got much lovely things to do. You've got an episode of, if you're listening on Radio Sega. Hello, by the way. I do try and be. I do try and be in there when the show is uh, is live. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, you are enjoying yourself. We've got, like I said, it's got a couple of bangers of uh, tracks still to come to end the show with. But um, going back to the subject of uh, Sonic and Hedgehogs and uh, the combination thereof, and actually that goes back t- also to what we were talking about at the beginning and the rumours that it was Sonic um, that was coming in because people were able to like find various like evidence evidence. That um, they were talking about Sonic. They showed they like a new uh, Xbox controller, and like the the color was pretty much bang on Sonic's color. Um, uh, and they 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 had a couple of like words together, which basically was like 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 so, like so iconic or something. And it was like, oh okay, see what you're doing there. There's been various you know. Microsoft videos where like a couple of guys were wearing Sega or Sonic T-shirts, and there's people have been like spe- the speculation is high. The speculation is high, but uh, what we want to talk about now is the new, something close to my heart and um, also close to my wallet, which is uh, Funko Pops. So uh, the officially the first thirtieth anniversary Sonic. Did you know there's a thirtieth anniversary? By the way. Um, First 30th anniversary merchandise has been revealed, and it is Funko Pops. Of course, of course, Funko Pops. More Sonic Funko Pops. I still think the first generation ones, the really, really super early ones of Sonic and Tails and Knuckles, still look far better than anything else they've put out so far. The little beady eyes. Me and Double Cross discussed this the other day. I used to have the, the Sonic one, but I had to sell it a while back to, to pay for bills. Because adulting. Uh. Anyway. So we've got, you know, um, figure eight speedy legs, Sonic. And also Silver the Hedgehog. Which was kind of spoilt by that double pack of Super Tails and Super Silver. That was revealed a little while ago as the, like a little special. Um, so it was like Sil- Super Silver was revealed before Super, before regular Silver was. Which made no damn sense, but apparently, 30th anniversary, the first two things are Speedy Figure 8 Sonic, which which looks good, I'll grant you, it looks good. It, it, the, what they've had to do with the legs is something very different for Funko, so that, that's new and it looks good. Um, and then Silver, which looks, eh, it is alright, I guess. Um, there's a flocked version of that, which is going to be like a super duper exclusive. A flocked version of the uh, figure eight Sonic, and then the much like the Super Silver, um, regular Silver is going to glow in the dark. And they did a, they showed this via a picture, and the picture looked awful. So it's it's kind of like. So the first bits of official Sonic merchandise for the anniversary celebration could be just described as all right, and in a way, isn't that just Sonic in a nutshell over the last however long? All right, yeah. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Will I be buying them? No. <laughs> just, just no. I'm just done with them. <laughs> very done with them. Um, I've got some of like the the last Sonic. Ones that came out the last, the last uh, lot they did, but I'm not getting any other ones. I'm trying to avoid getting Funko Pops as much as possible. I've got, I've got like loads. I've got about a hundred of the bloody things. I think it's. I, I do have. They, they, they just, they just sprawl everywhere throughout the living room. I just bought the. I, I found that there was like a variant of like the big Evangelion Unit One Funko the other day. And I had to buy that. And that was like the first Funko I've bought in a very long time that wasn't those Evangelion ones. If they start doing more of that, I'm doomed. Because there's so many more they can do. But hey. <sighs> I do have to buy the Batman Forever Riddler pop though. 
Although, don't actually say that. It's on my Christmas list. Somebody else can buy it for me. Somebody else can buy it for me. Ah, uh, yes. We'll get on to Christmas now. That doesn't exist anymore. Next week, maybe. Um, but that's it, I think. We've got we're out of time because there's, there's, there's far too many things that we actually need to get uh, done before the end of the show, which is these two really awesome tracks. First up... Uh, we're going to have from Video Games Live and their Level 6 album, I believe, uh, Undertale, Once Upon a Megalovania. And that's going to lead into a track from Sleeping Dogs, from the Sleeping Dogs album, and Automatic Response by Gem and the Dreadheads. So those are your two tracks to end the day. Have a very good week coming up. I hope it's safe for you. Hope you and your family are all doing well. Wear a mask, wash your hands, social distance. It's all very, very, very important. Trust me, I work with doctors for a living. First up, Video Games Live. Up next on Radio Sega is Rexy with her show. So stick around. Bye, everybody.